seventh lecture of about DynamoDB and today we are going for access management of DynamoDB. So as in previous lecture we studied all this information and now we are going for access management. So access here you can see identify access management. So I am a free service provider AWS this section you will discuss about key key concept okay so key concept of usage of service at the name of such a service identify user create policies that given to write to our benefit or IAM. let's discuss in some of benefits security control access analysis integration of other service so now let's go IAM concept so I am a concept consists of four things resources user policies in group web so a resources is a smallest entity in AWS that you can work with every AWS service provide us with some resources DynamoDB provide us with table and indexes S3 provide us the S3 bucket EC2 provide us with EC2 instance this is the resources so user User is a person or application that want use of some resources. When we create a AWS account for the first time, we create root user. It's not advisable use resources as root user in real time. Real life, we should always create sub user for a particular task and development use. So, root is advisable not to use root user for all access policies. So, this is resources and this is user and they use AWS services and then access policies through the AWS so user want to access resource but how AWS will know which user has access with resources which resources so a policy is missing link between user and uh, resources a policy define which access right given to the user and specific uh, resources so it's a kind of specific resources that user want group again the group is you know number of uh, multiple users uh, create one group some of rights our particular set of resources it doesn't make sense to assign policy in them individually because most of users will have part of one multiple group for example in technology groups they have tech groups so if you see here this is executive website and then this is root access then developer these are developers so they can have a one group these are manager they can have one group in turn so this is how we do next one is I am a policy so we go for concept after concept we go for I am a policy so policy consists of uh, four things one attributes then action then creating policy and example of policy okay so following the sub uh, lesson discuss the key attribute of all resources this is defined AWS resources that we want to policy apply to. For example, if we are granting access to EC2 instance, EC2 instance will one resource. Every resource in AWS identify the Amazon resources. So resources, ARN, the policies. Effect. So effect define whether the policy aim allow or deny access to resource. When we attach a deny policy for a resource user the user is unable to access the resources the things to note here that deny policy take precedence over allow policy user is denied access if they are attached to both allow and deny policy and then action yeah, action is determine the action that policy is allow or deny to user over the response action can be many type of including list of action read action write action so it's kind of read write action creating policies when you are using IAM management control we can click on policy and option under to access management so you can go to in AWS and select uh, identity and access management then you see the policies you can create policies then visual editors JSONs and these are the things we you can see expand policies denies policies 
and so these are things you can do the practical and this is the demo the policy and creating a user checking so policy we have already learned how to create policy in the previous chapter before proceeding we will also create policy and name of policies demo uh, dynam dynamo db policy so version is this one statement effect is allowed action is a, a, a dynamo db response is a, a AR aws dot aws root account creating user so you can create so login aws management console choose IMS service which will direct to IMS management then you can add user demo user dynamo db users add user groups and copy from existing check in so i am a user not root user uh, account 12 digit account or alias so that's all from access management you guys practice on aws uh, using your demo account and check all, all whatever we discussed about uh, i am a concept i am a policy and how to create and assign thank you for